hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel hello welcome don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with me but in today's video i have something special to announce to you guys but before i get into that i wanted to go ahead and explain where i've been these couple of months so for those that don't know, I did have my baby in July and I did also have a C-section done. So I was taking this time to recover from my C-section as well as bonding with my baby boy. Um, I did get postpartum depression and I am still trying to get, you know, better. And so in the beginning of the weeks, um, after bringing my baby home, I was having a hard time feeling that connection with him. So when I realized that I wasn't connecting with my baby, I decided to take this time to, you know, not film whatsoever. Although I did have some like video ideas like, you know, bring your baby 24 hours, like all those type of videos to show you guys like how I handled bringing him home. But I just couldn't do it. You know, I was breaking down all the time. I just wasn't in the right state of mind at the moment. So I just decided to take a break from filming. I was working on something at the time. So I just decided to put like my 100% onto that. And just, you know, kind of like pause on my whole YouTube channel. But I am happy that I am back. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on the video. Alright you guys, jumping into the video. Video, I am happy to announce that I just launched my online boutique I launched on September 21 so I know this video is kind of late but you know this whole launching thing was insane I was you know too busy running social media too busy trying to get all of the packages out on time so I finally have a break to launch this video for you guys and because you guys know the reason why I was taking a pause on YouTube but I do have a whole list to read um, of everything that I did in order for me to launch but if you guys want a video more detail because honestly for launching this I was on YouTube constantly trying to learn everything that I had to do in order to launch my website and there wasn't a lot of inform like informative videos and there was you know there's a lot of people also in this industry they're kind of like conservative when it comes to giving out their vendors information which i totally understand but like there's a lot of people that are trying to be successful in life as well just like you know those people that started their boutique so it wouldn't hurt if you just mentioned a little bit of more information but you know like not everyone thinks the same so if you guys want me to you know film a video give a little bit more information of what i know i mean i'm not a hundred percent like have everything that you need for a boutique but just the minimum stuff like where to get the license um, how to set up like should I go with the regular account for the bank or should I do a business account and um, I probably you know will mention a couple of vendors if you guys live here in California I wouldn't mind to give it to you because at the end of the day we're gonna end up finding out where we get our stuff so it just doesn't matter to me so I went ahead and just wrote down a list for you guys so I did mention that I launched on September 21. Um, the struggles for me, I'm going to have to admit that it was finding vendors. Vendors was kind of hard because I didn't know where to look at. Um, I know that a lot of people said, you know, go to Fashion District here in downtown LA. But me personally, I am scared of going over there by myself so i always had to make sure that it was around my husband's schedule so he can come with me but finding vendors was really hard because during this whole coronavirus a lot of them are closed down and all they are doing is on online on fashion go that is where they have all of their vendors so you can find like a whole bunch of vendors right there from accessories shoes bags clothes and eyelashes so if you're starting to if you're thinking of starting your own eyelash brand but don't know where to look you can go on fashion go but you do need your permit seller in order to create an account there um so that was so it's kind of hard to physically find vendors where you can go to the store feel the materials of the of the items that you want to purchase you know it's more preferably like that um that i like to shop 
but you know some stores are closed because of coronavirus so you have to do a lot of the shopping online which i really don't like so what i like to do is i like to write down the names of all of the stores that are open in downtown la and you know i just write them down and i just go back home and go on fashion go and see um all of their merchandise that they have there and whichever one i like i add to the cart so when i go over there i just show them what well, i want this can i see this and all that stuff which is you know really quick and easier for me like that instead of going in there and having to look for like 20 minutes and then end up not getting anything you know what i mean so i so i make sure that i go there know what i want to look for if i don't like anything that's fine but at least i save some time um for them and for me so that was one one struggle is finding vendors um creating the website was really hard i am not a computer whiz whatsoever but if i start playing with around a lot of things then i start getting the memo like that so creating the website i'm gonna have to say it took me about four months to create it and it still took me three days before launching to still fix my website um there is a lot of free things on shopify that is the website um maker whatever you call it that i am using so um there is a lot of free themes but because you are not paying for that theme they kind of like sh give you a limited of stuff to put on your website there's a lot of them that do offer a whole bunch of more um more stuff to add on to your website to make it look very professional but there are two hundred dollars a month so i do not have that money to be throwing at the moment so i'm just sticking with my you know my free things that they are given and i just made it look as professional that i could but you know little by little you know you start somewhere and then eventually you'll have what you've always wanted um, so yeah, that was the biggest struggle was creating the website and learning how to create the website. You know, um, like I said, there's only limited um, stuff that you can put on the website. So learning how to, you know, add stuff, it was quite kind of like stressful. I do remember the times that I would use the time where my baby was taking a nap in order to work on the website and having to figure out, you know, if I like this color, does the font look okay. Um, I added my logo onto the website and it was kind of difficult to get it at a measurement that I wanted. So I was constantly uploading my logo like so many times just trying to get the perfect size for it to look nice on the website. But you know, little by little you start learning um how to create it to the liking that you want. Um another thing is going out and learning how to purchase merchandise from vendors. Um, there is a lot of stores, um, a lot of vendors that have a minimum of purchase that you have to, you know, purchase. Um, so it was kind of difficult to, you know, understand, especially if you were going in there with a budget. Um, a lot of the vendors minimum purchase was $200 so you had to get $200 worth of merchandise in order for you to just make a purchase there so it was really hard and a majority of the vendors go from three to one which is three smalls two mediums one large some of them are four three one which is four smalls three mediums and one large no matter what you'll only get one large which kind of sucks but that is just how they sell and then some of them just do like three three which is three like if you're doing like bodysuits like this is one of my tops from my boutique it's a crop top and it's really cute to wear with a cardigan now this top comes in three three um three three which is three small medium it's like a small like slash medium this is a medium slash large and it's like a crop top i don't know if you guys can see it but it's a crop top so this one comes in three three and a majority it depends on how much a lot of them give in quantity of seven 
some of them give majority of them give quantity of six that is what majority of them give um but they usually always give more of the smalls than the large um so you know going in there and you know starting your own business you don't want to buy a lot of quantities because you don't even know if you're going to sell on your first you know time launching um so it's always preferably to have minimum quantity and then when you see that that um that item is sold out immediately then you are aware that you need to restock on that um blouse or jeans and stuff like that so um so I, it was always hard to look for vendors in the beginning it was also hard for me to understand what it meant when they said oh we sell pre-pack or you can get them like singles you know like choose how many do you want to get because majority of them are pre-packed like i said they come in three two one that's all in one pack or they give you the option to choose how many you want to take so mostly they do that with jeans um they give you those options to take like okay well i want to take four number zeros and two number ones instead like they usually always give you one zero one one and then when it comes to the bigger size like three five seven they usually give you a quantity of twos or threes in those jeans and so that's the only um options that they give you so i was having a hard time understanding what they meant so when it came to purchasing merchandise it was quite a difficult time because i didn't want to buy like on their minimum purchase because i wasn't trying to take so much of like this blouse i just wanted to take one pre-pack to see how it sold and if it sold like right away then that's it gave me an idea that i have to restock on that item rather than just having so much inventory on that item and not selling it whatsoever so that is one thing that you have to ask before purchasing anything um you know what is like their quantities and what is their minimum purchase um you know majority of the vendors don't ask you for your seller's permit at least here in the fashion district in downtown la i always carry my seller's permit as a pdf on my phone rather than having a copy of it in my bag because i am so clumsy and sometimes i drop a lot of stuff so me not realizing if i drop my seller's permit someone else can use it you know what i mean so i have it in my phone but honestly the way that i go in is the way that i go out they don't ask me uh, for my seller's permit and they just write you a receipt and that's it you just pay and that's it they don't even ask you for your boutique name so i don't even know why i even got it if i can just buy from anybody um so yeah that is one thing that i had to learn and i'm still learning honestly because it can be a little bit like confusing when they explain something to me so i am still trying to get there um so one thing let me see what else do i have so why am i doing this business so i am decided to do this business because i want to give my family a better life I've always had it in mind that I wanted to launch a business if it wasn't for eyelashes and it was a boutique. So I've always wanted to do this and I finally did it which is why I'm excited. Um, I'm very happy of this accomplishment. And so I did it because like I said I wanted to give my family a better life but also because I wanted to leave something for my son to inherit when I am no longer here. I didn't want to see him struggle in life. So I wanted him to, you know, have something for himself, you know? Um, so that is why I am doing it. And second, the reason why I am also, you know, doing this business is like I was, before I get into that, like I was telling my husband, I wasn't feeling ready whatsoever to launch. I felt like I was ready to launch. I was going to keep this till next year because of this whole coronavirus. I still didn't see it as an okay move to do it. Um, because a lot of us got hurt by this 
pandemic you know a lot of us lost jobs a lot of us is still looking for jobs a lot of us are struggling with money so i felt like it still wasn't a good time to launch it but the day before i decided this i just felt it in me that i needed to decide to launch it on september 21 and so my husband just told me then don't think about it just launch it so i said okay fine i'll just launch it tomorrow and yeah so that is exactly what i did i woke up early i made sure i had all of my items ready i made sure that i had my post ready to just upload it on instagram and you know and make sure that i everything goes smooth in my website before i launch and um once i launched which was around what time like 12 p.m i believe is when i launched um we get the news like a couple minutes later because me and my husband were so excited that we got an order and you know we're over here jumping around and then we just see my aunt come and he was she was very upset um because before all of this about a month ago my grandma was um, came out positive with coronavirus so she wasn't feeling good and so she had to be taken to the hospital and she was there for a month and you know we were getting a lot of bad news about her but we were hoping for the best we were hoping that she was going to come out strong and unfortunately in our case my grandma did not make it um, she was in ICU for a week and they had given us three weeks for her to recover and if she didn't recover then she was going to be disconnected um unfortunately my grandma didn't even last the three weeks um once we were told that she only lasted two days after we were told that my grandma was only given three weeks and my grandma only lasted two days so on september 21 my grandma passed away and it was just crazy because i just felt that that excitement that I just wanted to launch immediately and I just felt like I took it as a sign that my grandma gave me the strength and told me that everything was going to be okay so I just launched so every sale that I will be making um every sale that I get I mean every sale that I get will be going to my grandma's uh, funeral expenses because it's I know that a funeral is expensive no matter what but with this whole coronavirus it's gotten insane with the total amount of death that has been happening this whole year the expenses are insane so this is the first time i have to be you know doing this whole funeral service thing because i've never you know lost anybody so close to me like my grandma so you know for us not being prepared financially and emotionally every sale that i get will be going to my grandma's funeral expenses so it will be very appreciated if you guys do purchase something from my boutique but if not then you know all your prayers to my grandma to rest in peace will be appreciated as well but yeah i am really happy to announce that i did launch my boutique so i'll go ahead and link my boutique down below also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any more videos and turn on that bell button so youtube can notify you when i upload another video and i will see you guys on my next one bye guys